Hi, Sparky here from SparkyUonline.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about wire strippers. As you can tell, I've got quite a variety here. And these by far are my favorites. Okay, they're made by Klein. They're uh, very comfortable to use. Uh, the problem with these is that I cut one too many screws without using the screw cutter. Okay, this is a new pair that I picked up today. And... Um, I bought these mainly because of the different size of screw holes that are screw sizes that I could cut. Okay, and it's got the crimpers down here in the bottom, and it's got a pretty wide range of um, different size wires that you can strip on this. This is an old pair that I had. Uh, I went out and bought in a hurry one night and didn't realize that. Uh, they went from size 22 gauge wire down to 30 gauge wire. Doesn't do me much good in the commercial and residential end, at least for uh, the day-to-day -day activities. This pair of strippers have been around since, uh, well, 25, 30 years. They've been around for a long time. They're my shop strippers. Some people carry a pair of needle nose, and they have a hole in them. You notice that these don't. I don't like them and never have, and mainly because if you're stripping, if you're stripping a live wire, no, you're not supposed to do that. If you're stripping a live wire, you got a lot of real estate here to hit up against something there. Okay, but let's go back to the instructions on these. Never use on a live circuit. You pick these up. Never use on a live circuit, and the list goes on. This came out of a little auto kit. I needed uh, some terminals really bad one weekend, and uh, they just happened to be in there. I keep them around just for uh, doing the hobbies inside my shop and stuff. This is multi-use auto strip, okay? I don't recommend these. Um, I think they're bulky. They get clogged up really easy. Um, they do work though. Um, you don't really have a method of, of cutting the wire. So, cut them. And I'm not sure if you can see in there, but it's got the several different gauges. You just put it in the back there. I'll put it in the 12 gauge side and strip off. Okay, looks really cool, but it's just not a functional, functional tool for, for being in our trade. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to show you with almost all strippers, okay, is a lot of people use their needle nose and, and bend these around, okay. It's really easy to bend them too tight. So when you go to put them on your screw, Kind of a pain in the ass to get them in there okay now if you take and use them like they're supposed to I'll strip these off a little bit here okay go to about the mid range point there loop that around you tell how much easier that loops in there okay now another little thing here that this is a Cooper wiring device is if you strip this off and strip about an inch okay what you can do is you can fit it down inside that little slot right there and actually twist your wire around it. Okay, and something else I'm going to show you here. When you go to tighten it up with your Phillips screwdriver, you can get it pretty tight, but the t if you're in a hurry, it tends to slip off. Okay, so I'll take and strip this around, turn this around. I use the flat end, it's less likely for it to strip off. Okay, now on 
some of the wiring devices you can take they'll have a plate back here and you can actually just put your plate in on the stranded wire but what you want to do on the stranded wire is take a terminal okay slip it over and make sure it comes in to just about to the end in there alrighty and then you can take your crimpers and crimp that on down got a nice connection there this is the recommended method if you don't have that plate the recommended method on putting stranded wire on a device and get that in there good and tight and test it it's good to go okay now going back to the strippers with the screw cutters okay you've got the side here that's got the the numbers on it okay then you've got the other larger size this is the cutting side okay I've got an 832 so I'm going to throw the 832 in there and sometimes you got to play with it a little bit to get it to go through now for some guys they like to carry 10,000 different size screws I like to carry some longer ones and then I, I'll just cut them if I need to okay see how nice that threads out I'll just thread right back in there now what I was doing before how I ruined that other set of plier or the other set of strippers is I'd, I would just get in a hurry and I just go like that and what happens is it springs these out and you probably really can't tell if I go to strip this piece of number 10 wire it just doesn't want to strip out that well okay it also messes up my cutting on it because I've I've sprung that okay so there's just a few odds and ends on wire strippers and like I said this is my first actual live video that I've done most of them has been the uh, the Camtasia with the still pictures and the next one I plan on doing is uh, a few of the circuit testers and look forward to uh, doing that and hope you guys learned something uh, got any questions or comments give me an email or post it here on YouTube and uh, we'll talk at you later thanks for watching